Now that we've programmed something into the memory, when we get back to the main menu, we'll see that the edit uh, button has gone from gray to black. So when we press it, now we'll be able to delete events. So if I want to delete events, say, 3 through 25, I can do that with that button. Search edit means now I can take a look at everything in kind of a spreadsheet uh, manner. Uh, so if I need to change something or if I need to see what everything looks like, uh, whenever again there's a question mark next to help, press this and you'll be able to change the uh, columns that you see, uh, the rapid, where you're starting, etc. So if you want to change the columns, you can do that here. So these columns, you can see six at a time and uh, you can change what you're seeing. So you can do that. You can erase the program, so if you just want to delete the program from memory so you can start anew, you can do that here. Or if you want to, say, uh, save certain steps from the current program onto the clipboard so that you can transfer those steps into another program of yours, you can do that here. So again, kind of like deleting, it'll say, okay, from this event to this event, copy it to the keyboard or to the clipboard, and I'll save it in memory until you can copy it into something else. And that is the edit. And then you can go from edit into setup where it's going to say things like tool setup. If you want to set up your tool one that you're using, it's going to ask you what kind of a tool is it? Is it a right hand, left hand, boring bar, drill, cutoff, etc. Uh, we'll say our we're using a right hand tool for our tool number one. At this point, you'll touch off on the X and the Z. I don't have access to move the machine right now, so we'll just hit set, set. So whenever you've touched off, you just hit set. Those numbers will change. Radius, let's say we're using 0 0.032 uh, radius. And now when you're cutting, if you find that you're a little bit too shallow or a little bit too deep on the X or the Z, instead of having to go back and retouch the tool, you can just say, oh, I'm out by you know, this many thou. And I can just go in and say plus or minus that many thou to compensate for say where in the cutter. So that's what the modifier is for. So once we have the tool setup done, reference position here, this is what we were talking about earlier. When you have a piece in the chuck and you're finished your program and you finished your uh, work in a digital readout where it says return home. Home position is always from zero. So for instance, if we've programmed in this part and our zero is here, when we say return home, we want it to return say uh, five inches on the Z and maybe three inches on the X. So this is where we punch that in. So X, um, we punch in three and Z we punch in five. So now we have our uh, home set. These X and Z limits, this is basically uh, if you want to put software limits on the machine for whatever reason you can do that here but you're not going to be doing that too often. This is basically just for setting the home position. Then we'll take a look at the uh, tool path. Now we see the path that it's going to take. This is from our home position here. And if I press and hold the step button, this is see it clearing away the material. Then it's going to do our shape that we've programmed in. And at the same time, it's also telling us how long it'll take to do the cut. So for instance, this step, it's almost four minutes to do the cut. So let me just take a look at the tool path again. Uh, the finishing, the total time it takes to make this particular uh, piece that we've programmed in, include, including clearing away all the material on the bar, on the bar, uh, bar stock, is going to be just under five minutes of machining time. And so if you need to take a look at the tool table, for instance, again, this is our tool table. Red means there's only one tool being used in the current program. It's a right-hand turn. That's the radius the modifiers, etc. You can change these numbers around here as well if you want. And once you set it up, now that the setup is done, the run turns from gray 
to black and we can run the part. Pressing run, we can start at the beginning or say for instance if we have needed to do something uh, and we have to start not from the beginning but start at say step number five just so we're not cutting air for a few minutes I can just say start at event number five and it'll start there. So we press start machines basically ready to go when you're ready you press go now a machine is not hooked up to do the cuts as at present but before we press go what we can do is we can press tracking when we press tracking now I'm in control I just take one of the two hand wheels I start cranking the hand wheel and it starts doing its cut it starts cutting away, cutting away, cutting away, as long as I continue to crank it. Once I stop cranking, it stops. If I back up the hand wheel, it'll back up through its program. And so this is a nice way to make sure that, you know, instead of um, closing the doors, pressing go and crossing your fingers and praying that you've programmed it properly, here you're in control the whole time while you're cranking the hand wheel. And so once you're happy with what it's doing so far, you can hit stop, you can hit CNC run, and you can hit go again, and the machine takes over. Or if the machine is doing its cut, and you're getting a little bit nervous about a particular part of the program that you might have programmed in, and you're not sure it's going to cut the way you intended it to cut, again, you hit stop, tracking, you take the hand wheel, start to crank it, and as long as you crank it, it continues to cut as long as you're cranking it. Stop cranking, it stops, so you're in complete control. Once you're happy again, stop, CNC run, press go, and the machine takes over. So at any point, you can take control or give back control to the machine. And for our last step that we have, I just hit the mode button, takes us back to the main menu, is the program in and out. And if you want to save the program, everything that you see here is in Windows format, so something that you'd be familiar with from your desktop computer already. Um, you can save it, uh, you can open, you can save files, uh, open folders, create folders, um, you can delete files, copy them, all the same type of thing that you can do on your computer, you can do that here. And so that is a ProTrack SLX control from start to finish, starting with digital readout, going to program, edit, setting up the tools, running the program, and then saving the program.